Hello, welcome to DocPlex's Middle East Health Minute. Experts from India have dismissed the recent reports of Delmicron being an emerging and combinatorial variant of Delta and Omicron strains. Scientists have clarified that it is extremely rare for both variants to co-infect a host giving rise to a new variant altogether. As per the Union Health Ministry's clinical guidelines, Remdesivir can be used to manage moderate to severe COVID-19 symptoms within 10 days of their onset in adults with no renal or hepatic dysfunction. The ministry has also indicated tocilizumab use within two days of the onset of severe symptoms or ICU admission. The Department of Health, Abu Dhabi, has joined forces with a biopharmaceutical giant to train 150 health workers in technologies and artificial intelligence tools related to the drug discovery process. The company's support will also be extended in establishing guidelines for the early phases of clinical trials and drug development. Researchers from several cancer centers have concluded that a fiber-rich diet is a dominant factor in altering the gut microbiota of melanoma patients. Ruminococcaceae bacteria were found to be abundantly present in fiber-rich diet consumers and improved response towards immunotherapy compared to patients on a low-fiber diet and artificial probiotics. A recent study has discovered that butyrate-producing gut bacteria can significantly restore the immune response dysregulated by COVID-19, thereby reducing its pathogenesis and manifestations. However, the study findings could not clarify whether gut dysbiosis in infected subjects preceded the COVID-19 infection or followed it. Do you think specially formulated probiotics would be beneficial in bringing down the severity of COVID-19 at a faster rate? Share your opinions by commenting below. Health Minute, the most popular segment of DocPlexus, is now available for the Middle East every Tuesday and Friday. Stay tuned for the latest happenings in the medical field. Happy DocPlexing!